Democratic leader in the House. Always good to see you, Congressman. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. You are one of the folks who signed a letter urging diplomacy with Iran after the election of the new president. Uh, do you think President Obama should meet with him today? Oh, I think that the president should continue uh, to hold fast uh, to his position. I think that what he did uh, moved us to where we are today. Uh, I believe he should be cordial, but I don't think that he should seek out any kind of a meeting. I think that some uh, kind of, uh, of reaction should be, uh, positive reaction should be coming uh, his way, uh, because I think he's done all that anybody ought to expect. Uh, the head uh, of the United States of America uh, to do at this point. Why not seek out a meeting, though? Do, are you skeptical that there really is change afoot in Iran, that, that their basic positions have not really altered? It's just the way that they're saying them? Well, I've always been leery about who is exactly in charge. I know who the president is, and I think uh, he seems to be a breath of fresh air. Uh, but there's always been... Uh, lurking in the background, uh, what I consider to be the real uh, decision maker uh, there, and that's the uh, religious head of state. So uh, because of that, uh, I am always a bit leery as to how much the ultimate authority uh, in our country uh, ought to be, uh, how far he ought to be going when we aren't sure whether or not the president of Iran is in fact the ultimate authority. So we're going to be watching that very closely. In the meantime, you guys have a few things on your plates in uh, D.C. Let me talk about what's going on at the Capitol today, the battle to keep the government funded and open. Uh, the president could meet with bipartisan leaders later this week. At least that's what we're hearing. Uh, is this going to get resolved, Congressman? Oh, I think it will. Uh, I, I do believe uh, that the president has made it very clear uh, that he's drawn a line on where uh, the... Affordable Care Act uh, ought to be, uh, and I think he's going to hold to that. Uh, I think that everything is going to kick, be kicked down the road until maybe the, the debt ceiling. However, uh, I would hope that if the Senate is going to hold fast to the House numbers uh, and send us a bill back with that number uh, without uh, the defunding uh, of the Affordable Care Act, I would hope the Senate would put in language uh, to eliminate uh, the sequester as well, because I'm fearful that if the numbers come back to us, sequester still in place, I'm afraid, I'm afraid that OMB uh, will fund at a much lower level or will authorize funding as a much, uh, at a much lower level, thereby baking in uh, the sequester. We ought to get rid of the sequ sequester, and I believe the Senate uh, ought to send language to us uh, doing so. Well, I'm sure you've been watching closely. So interesting. Uh, Senate Republican leaders Mitch McConnell and John Cornyn are now going against Ted Cruz because they say they will allow a vote on this resolution, which could mean Harry Reid strips out the part that defunds Obamacare, sending it back to the House. So in that case, what do you think John Boehner's next move is? Well, I don't know what John Boehner's ne next move is going to be. I know what his sentiments are. Uh, I know him very well. Uh, I know what kind of uh, difficulty he's having uh, trying to work with his conference. John Banner uh, knows what's best for this country, and what's best for this country is for us uh, to respect that 59 percent of the American people who say they do not want to see the government closed down over the Affordable Care Act. And I think he will respect that. And I think that's what um, uh, Senator McConnell uh, and Coburg are doing. They are respecting uh, the wishes of the American people. Every time you talk to the American people about the contents of the Affordable Care Act, they support it. Now, there are a lot of people, uh, when you ask about it uh, in a poll, uh, that 18, 19 percent who do not uh, feel that we've gone far enough, uh, they are factors into that group that think we went too far. And so, therefore, you're given what I consider to be an unreal number uh, when it comes to who is for or against uh, the Affordable Care Act. But I hope uh, that we will continue uh, to move forward on this. Uh, the American people 
uh, had a, a referendum on this question last November, and they re-elected President Obama uh, by uh, record numbers, uh, though uh, the percentages, I mean, one state uh, flipped, uh, his numbers went up. And so overwhelmingly, the referendum favored the president and the Affordable Care Act. We ought to recognize that, we ought to respect that, and move forward. Thank you very much, uh, Congressman James Clyburn. Always good to have you on the program. Thank you.